Iman has revealed she turned down work when she first moved to the United States as she was getting paid less than white models. The supermodel, 67, who was born in Somalia, broke into the industry during the 1970s and recalled a conversation that she had with her agent at the time. Iman told the rap, when I arrived here, one of the things that I was confronted with was that there was a discrepancy in pay between black models and white models, I couldn't understand it. Recalling a conversation with her agent, Iman continued, I said to her, I want to be paid for services rendered, which means simply, I want to be paid for the same job she's doing. The star, who was married to the late music icon David Bowie, explained, I understood right there and then I was barely 19 years old, that image is my currency in this industry. Iman founded her own cosmetic line, Iman Cosmetic, in 1994 to make sure she had protection in the fashion industry as a black model. She explained how she often faced difficulties when arriving on set as makeup artists failed to cater for her skin tone. Iman says that the fashion industry has made progress in terms of racial equality but warned that there is still more to be done as she recalled a minuscule number of black models being used in shows in 2013 and urged people to not take the foot off the gas. It comes as the cover model appeared on CBS this morning to with host Gail King, 67, to speak about the new documentary Supreme Models. Iman is an executive producer on the six-part series, which is being streamed on YouTube Originals. The show tells the stories of black models who shattered barriers and made their own impact on fashion and beauty standards. Iman helped form the Black Girls Coalition in 1988 with fellow models Bethann Hardison and Naomi Campbell. She served as an executive producer on the docu-series. When I was approached by the directors at YouTube about this docu-series, I was like, what are you guys bringing to the table that has not been said before? And they said, there's never been a documentary about black models, or black beauty, for that matter. That made sense to the Global Chic founder who said she came on board so we could tell our own stories. During the interview, Iman shared one of her own frustrating experiences from her early days in the business. The first job that I booked was American Vogue, literally the third day I arrived in New York, and I had never worn makeup before, she revealed. She recalled the makeup artist hired for the shoot was working on a Caucasian model and then when he approached me, he said, did you bring your own foundation? Because he didn't have anything for me. After some two decades of posing for photos and strolling the catwalk, the savvy businesswoman created Amon Cosmetics, based on her experience mixing up her own formulations for makeup artists. I definitely did create my own cosmetics because in fashion, image is my currency, so how I look in magazines, how I look in pictures, it's really, truly what they want and so I wanted to have some control over that. Iman said she used her skills as a political science major to get rid of what she called tokenism in the fashion industry which pitted one black model against another for the top jobs. They created the idea that you have dethroned the other black model so you can have some space, she said of her early days as a model. I come from that mentality, that as a group, as a tribe, we're more powerful than singularly. So, I teamed up with Beverly Johnson and we became best friends. And we got rid of that tokenism immediately. Instead of calling out people or designers, I wanted to call them in, so they can understand what was going on, 